Howdy folks, Greg Christensen here, Grandview Grain and Livestock. But what I wanted to show you up here was uh, this pasture is split. It's probably about 25 acres and it's split in four different quadrants. And this is the water bank, we call it, a uh, tire tank. And we'll put the mineral feeder up here. This is gravel around this water bank. And then we've got a three wire fence that runs down to the perimeter fence. Three wires separate these quadrants from each other. And three wires uh, is what you're gonna need if you're gonna try to rotationally graze goats. Um, the sheep, you could probably manage them with one wire. Cattle, obviously one wire. Now the sheep wire needs to be about 12 inches high. Maybe a little lower if you've got lambs. Um, and then the cattle, of course, I like it where I can step over it. Probably for me, that's about 34, 35 inches high. Um, but I wanted to show you this uh, uh, floating brace. This is a floating brace. And you can look up floating brace there on Google and you can see pictures of different ones. But this is one where we use a T-post, and I, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of a T-post used as a floating brace. And we did it up here with these paddocks. Uh, it's really easy, it's a lot easier than drilling holes and putting your other post in, more permanent wooden post. So see, what's, what's going on here is that's got a bracket on it, and uh, I'll show you those brackets later. You can usually buy those at a local farm store or online there. Um, maybe Ken Cove has them. There's probably other places that have them. And you'll hook that T-post into that bracket and it'll set down here. You'll need a, a, a rock, a board, something to keep that T-post from sliding, pushing itself down into the ground. Because then you're going to put this bottom wire on that goes over to this corner post right here. And it goes over here, it goes around the end of this T post. And in the kit that the bracket comes with, you'll get that little uh, mechanism that fits on the end of the T post. I've even just put them at the bottom of that spade. You just need something where that wire won't climb up that T-post. Because after you put it on there, then you're going to twist it tight. Now, uh, you're going to want to use something that's not conductive. It's a piece of fiberglass rod here. Or you could put just a regular daisy wire tightener in it. Um, and so when you tighten that up, that's going to put pressure on that. And it's hard for me to explain, but you'll understand it if you ever build one, that that's gonna shove backwards on that post there. And it's gonna push it against the wire. So when you pull your wire up, that post can't pull forward uh, because the leverage of that T-post coming down on that solid block or board or whatever you have, but you're gonna have to have something to keep it from pushing itself into the, the mud or the ground. Pretty easy to put up, real easy to maintain. Uh, I mean, you can just, you can slap four of these up here and, and get your water bank up before you could probably drill and put in one H brace. And these have been here for quite some time and they'll work, you know, we've got them at places. Uh, this is probably about a, this is almost uh, eighth of a mile stretch here. It's probably about an eighth of a mile from the perimeter fence on down there to this water bank. Okay, here's these Here's these uh, braces that you'd want to use 
on those T-post floating brace. These are called speed brace. And really they're relatively cheap. I don't know if they're $20 for that package. And that package has, I think it's got four of them in there. Complete with little bolts and the wing nuts you need. Uh, you, really, you only need one to make a floating brace. So you can make four of them there, $5 a piece. And uh, you know, honestly, they work real well. Um, you can Google that. You can find them probably locally. So I wanted you to see what the what those braces were. This is Greg Christensen, Grand View Grain Livestock. Hey, hit subscribe. I'm going to be giving some more tips about how we do our fencing. Um, it's really not that hard. Good day.